What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at a brand new video for you guys today. Happy hump day. Missed you guys, but we're here. So we're going to check out uh, this new trailer. It's called The Craft Legacy. Now, this was a movie called uh, The Craft back in the day. i never seen it before. So I guess, you know, Legacy is just like a part two to it or whatever. But we're going to see. It says, in Bloom House's continuation of the cult, hit The Craft, an eclectic foursome of aspiring teenage witches get more than they bargain for as they lean into their newfound powers. Oh, Lord. So let's check it out now, y'all. Shall we? In about a three, two, one. Ah! Okay. All right, let's do this. I know it feels fast, but it's nice, isn't it? To have a family unit. Come on in to meet the boys. They're really excited to meet you. They don't look so I excited. That's cool. <laughs> Shit. You can meet some new friends. I know why the cage bird sings. Wow. Um, wow. That is super nasty. Oh, oh right, enough. Settle down. <laughs> this hey. Oh, that was it from her. To everyone. He's made us all cry at one point or another. You should come over after school. What is all this? This is a ceremony to celebrate you. And Bruce is an invisible man. Why would you celebrate me? I still want to see that. You're out fourth. Just in time for first period. Get your ass off me, pervert. This is well, I hated high school crazy. days, boy. Half the battle of having powers is believing you do. That's why covens have always been important. If we can do that, what else can we do? We need to put a spell on Timmy. We don't want to hurt him though, right? Something gonna happen, of course. She's oh. right. The number one rule of the craft. If a person is a danger to herself or others, they will be bound. Is that her? I was starting to get a little worried. Sorry, I was just hanging out with my friends. We've gone too far. Was this the damn Ouija boards and shit? I feel different. Be careful. A lot of weirdos out here. We are the weirdos, Mister. You just don't know it. You really, you really don't know. On demand everywhere. Ooh. I want to talk about that in this video as well. But before we do that, before we do that, um, with this, you just got, like I said before in, a, in another video, you just got to be careful. Let me tell you something. Because me, you will never catch me playing with no damn Ouija board. None of that shit, okay? Because you are asking for a rude awakening. I don't care what you say. That's just it. But um, this looks pretty interesting. I might take the time to go back and check the first one out. Um, just in case, you know, it might be something related to the first one in the new one, The Craft Legacy. So, uh, I think the first one came back out in the, like, Nate, late 90s. Nate, who the hell is Nate? Um, but, yeah, so this looks pretty good, though. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about this whole on-demand thing with these movies. So, recently, uh, uh, if you guys didn't know, you know, the new Candyman, which is by, hold on. The new Candyman that was set to come out in June 2020, right? Um, which is by directed by Nia DaCosta and one of the producers is Jordan Peele. So obviously that caught a lot of eyes anyway because of it being Jordan Peele. We all saw us, we all saw Get Out. So the fact that he was attached to this new Candyman, I'm like, yo, I wanna go see this. Even though the first Candyman back in the 90s scared the shit out of me. But anyway, um, the first, well, this one was supposed to come out in June 2020, right? But because of this pandemic, we all know that that got pushed back. It was going to come out in um, September 20, whoops, September 25th of this year. Two days after my birthday. That was like, and I was fine with that because I felt like it was a personal gift to me. Then we got hit with a bombshell, another bomb. Uh, it had got pushed back again to October. Um, they was like, you know, you know how these movies, they keep getting pushed back. 
uh, they were talking about The Conjuring 3, uh, the Michael Myers movie Halloween Kills. That was also going to come out this year, but, you know, they keep on pushing these movies back, right? So, and by the way, before I really get into this little rant that I'm about to have, um, just bear with me, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I hope some, hopefully some of y'all agree with me, because I just feel like if their only thing because of this virus, and they want people to go see these movies in, in the theaters, and they won't put it out on demand certain movies, I just think that's not the way to go, and it's not smart. You know what I'm saying? Because if these movie people don't understand, you're going to get paid any fucking way. So just give me a second. So anyway, the Candyman, long story short, got delayed again, pushed back to 2021 uh, indefinitely. I don't know what the hell, like, ugh. So anyway, it says the movie's premiere has been pushed back to 2021 and won't see an immediate VOD release, which is stupid. Um, so this is what Nia DaCosta said on Twitter. Or whatever i think it, i think it was on twitter yep she said uh, hold on hold on hold on I'm trying to see we made and i quote we made candy man uh this is from cinema blend at, uh if you guys want to check this out i'll probably have to find this link and just put it in the description so anyway it says we made candy man to be seen in theaters not just for the spectacle but because this film well the film is about community and stories how they shape each other, how they shape us. It's about the collective experience of trauma and joy, suffering and triumph, and the stories we tell around it, okay? And she also made it clear that it's more important to her that they retain that the spirit of, that spirit of community for fans when they finally get to see it. Well, we won't see it until y'all give us a date instead of pushing it back. Yeah, that's not a smart move. Anyway, listen, it says, here's another quote. We wanted the horror and humanity of Candyman to be experienced in a collective, a community. So we're pushing Candyman to next year to ensure that everyone can see the film in theaters and share in that experience. Now, it, you know, the, this article goes on and on, but um, that's basically what she said on Twitter as to why it got pushed back again so that's okay so the first date was june so it got pushed back to september that's pushed back number one delay number one then it got moved to october pushed back number two now 2021 that's pushed back number three this is three strikes y'all on three strikes that's enough put it on demand um and also somebody on youtube uh king of reads check his channel out Shout out to Justin J, a.k.a. King of Reads. He explained it very well. He was talking specifically about Candyman and why it should just be put out digitally, right? So go ahead and check that video out if you guys would like. I'll leave the link in the description. Y'all can't just keep pushing these movies back. If that's y'all only option because y'all want people to go to the theater so bad, let me tell y'all something. Until these numbers and shit start going down, there's no more new cases, there's vaccines and shit given out and the shit is working nobody is going to the theaters let me tell you something i love me a good movie I, I miss going to the theaters i haven't been to the theater in obviously months okay like i don't even remember the last movie i saw in the theaters i really don't it's been a long time we shouldn't have left you without a dope meat to step to but like seriously that's if that's your only option to just keep pushing these movies back over and over the hype is gonna die down and that's gonna be on y'all fault Okay, that's gonna be on y'all motherfucking part. That's gonna be y'all fault for the shit dying down. I don't care what y'all say. It doesn't make sense to keep doing, to, to keep using that, the, only that move to just push these movies back. There is no way in hell. Let me tell you something. And let me go back to Halloween real quick. This, it's ridiculous that we have to wait a whole year now unless they decide to use their brains and put it out digitally for Halloween Kills to come out a whole year later. Cause it was supposed to come out next month, obviously. Um, but then the date got pushed back again to October, 2021, a whole year from now, because they want people to go see it in theaters. Let me tell y'all something. It is just dumb. Like certain movies, they cherry pick what movies are going to be on demand. And then the other ones, uh, they're just going to keep getting pushed back until people feel like it's safe to go back to the theater. I mean, you directors and producers and shit, y'all asses is quarantining too, you know? I mean, unless y'all y'all go ahead and have these damn movie premieres and keep on getting COVID tests every time new people keep showing up to the premiere since y'all think this shit is a game. 
And listen, no disrespect to you, Nia DaCosta, but girl, come on. Get with the times. Nobody is going to the theaters right now, so that's your only... Like, like unless you know a certain date that this pandemic is just going to diss a fucking pair. Girl, you need to stop being selfish. All of y'all that came up and did this movie, y'all need to put the shit out on demand. Like, and they talking about this experience at the theaters. Let me tell you something. People ain't going to be worried about no damn experience if they go to the theaters right now. They're going to be worried about if it's going to be some new cases popping up and if they should go take a damn COVID test after they leave the damn theaters. Because we all know, listen, for most of us that go to the, that have been to the movies and that like to go to the movies, you know it'd be a whole bunch of people there. People at the food stand getting popcorn, ices, snacks. Then you got your people over there in the bathroom, chopping it up, running their mouth if they're not peeing or pooping. Then you got people in the hallway walking, going to their theater room, wherever, whatever movie they're going to see, people leaving out, people, more people coming in. The workers, of course. You got security. You know what I'm saying? You got people sitting down, because you know, especially if it's a movie that everybody wants to go see, it's going to be packed. I mean, prime example, any Avengers movie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just imagine how it's going to be if it's safe to go back by then, hopefully it will, when Black Panther 2 comes out. You know it's going to be packed in this, especially the first day it come out. The first day? Come on. Nobody is trying to risk going to no theaters right now anytime soon. Like I said, unless, until these numbers start dropping and dropping and dropping and there's no more new cases, nobody is going. I know I'm not. You know, people with common sense and brains and people that give a shit about themselves and people around them, they're not going to no theaters right now. People bring, and not, not only that, people bring their children to the theaters for PG and G rated films. Hello? You know, but for the time being, you can't do that right now. So the best option, home is the new movie theater right now. You know, that's just, it's just the real. Like certain movies that weren't, on virtual, on demand, whatever, visual, whatever the VOD stands for, it should have been. I mean, hell, they had the Invisible Man on Apple TV for about like $16.99 or $19.99 back when it came out. So what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Like, y'all have options at that. Like, the movie Run with Sarah Paulson, right? That was going to come out on Mother's Day weekend, but because of this pandemic... It got pushed back, and we didn't know when, though, for a while. So now it's going to be on Hulu in November. So I'll definitely be watching. So that's just the best option right now. Stop pushing these movies back to a, a year later or a couple months in a summer. Like Godzilla vs. King Kong. That's another movie that was going to come out later on this year. But we all know what happened. So it got pushed back to summer of 2021. Like, I think it come out in May. It makes no sense at all. It makes no sense at all. Like, y'all have options. You got Hulu. You got YouTube. Okay? Because you could, in case y'all didn't know, you could buy or rent movies on YouTube. They have it all, damn near. You have um, Netflix, of course. You have, uh, I think it's called Voodoo or something like that. You have Amazon Prime TV. Amazon Prime TV got a whole bunch of shit. They got your favorite childhood shows. They got old ass movies, new ass movies, in the present movies. Like I said, TV shows when it comes to either reality, cartoon, whatever. Whatever you whatever tickles your fucking fancy, okay? Um Apple TV. People love shit from Apple. Apple products. Okay? From the phones to the computers, hell, the watches, anything that they have. People love Apple. So y'all have options instead of pushing these movies back over and over again. Nobody's gonna sit up in here and deal with y'all with that. It doesn't make no sense. So this is what y'all should do. And, and I'm, I'm gonna be finished with this little rant. And I just hope y'all understand where I'm coming from because I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. Um, these are the movies that y'all should put on demand because these are the movies that I really care about. You know, The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, find a date, put it on demand. Give us a trailer. I'm still waiting for a trailer for King Kong versus Godzilla. Where is it at? It's bad enough y'all pushed it back to next year instead of just putting it on demand in November. But y'all don't listen to us because y'all going to get paid anyway. We go, we don't mind. I don't mind paying. I mean, look what they did with Mulan. 
they put it on D Disney Plus for $30. $30. Figure it out, pe movie people. Figure it out. But anyway, going back to what I was saying. Godzilla versus King Kong. Make a date on demand. Can demand. Same thing. Same thing. And the rest of these movies that y'all got coming out. Uh, a Quiet Place. I think that was supposed to come out in September. But I ain't heard nothing else about it. I ain't even seen the first one yet. But I'm just saying that one was supposed to come out. But it got pushed back. But still, instead of constantly pushing them back, just put it on demand for a good price. People are going to buy it. Like I said, Home is the new movie theater for right now. And y'all should know that. Y'all y'all make these movies. Y'all know what the hell is going on right now. Y'all should know the drill. Okay? Don't make us mad because we will lose the hype. We will forget about these damn movies. Hell, we'll forget they even were thought about. And I don't want to do that. Because I want to see The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. I want to see King Kong versus God. I'm just waiting. Touching it, hitting everything. I'm just waiting for that King Kong versus Godzilla trailer so I can get on here and react to it with y'all. I'm just wait. I know this shit is going to be amped. Y'all remember the King of the Monsters trailer? That shit was hot. Y'all remember that shit? I was excited as hell for that movie. I'm, I'm going to be excited even more when we at least get a trailer. Can we at least get that? I mean, damn. Y'all act like we... Ooh, ooh. Y'all don't listen to us. And that's the problem because we the one giving y'all our money for these movies. Whether we at home or whether we at the theater. We can, ex let me tell you something. When the Candyman do come out, hopefully, okay, I can experience the same shit at home with this movie, with my peoples that I rock with like that to have movie night, hello, um, that I would at a theater. Just less people. And ain't nothing wrong with that. It'll be like that. Do you know how many people will have a movie night for this movie? I mean, from what I remember when the first trailer came out and hell, the only trailer for the Candyman came out, everybody was talking about it. I heard about it on the fucking news. I saw it on the shade room, I think. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody. So, stop playing with us and put the shit out on demand. No more delays. It's enough for that. Got to sit up here and wait a whole damn year for this movie to come out. Fuck that. And it got pushed back three times. This is our third strike. You know what they say? Strike three, you out. So figure it out, Mia DaCosta, Jordan Peele, and the rest of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, these actors and shit, they want to get their money. <laughs> What's the bullshit? Y'all are just being stubborn at this point because y'all wanted to make some big, big money at the box office. It can make some money. It could y'all will still get y'all money if we're at home. People will buy for the people will buy this movie. Just like Halloween. Instead of it being pushed back to October 2021, it should be October 2020 on demand. I will pay for this movie. Do you know people love Halloween? The holiday and the movie. Especially people who love horror movies. People love Michael Myers. Come on. Y'all need to think outside the box. I ain't the only one to feel like this. But you know what? I'm done. Hopefully they'll listen. If not, I'm, I, I don't know what else to do no more. Because I mean, it's a lot. I'm already, I can already be impatient with certain things sometimes. I'm already over all these movies being pushed back over and over again. It's enough of that. Y'all need to listen to us. And that's it. Y'all gonna get paid. Damn. It would not kill y'all to listen. I mean, hell, y'all probably quarantining at home right now. And y'all should be fucking listening to us. But we'll see how this gonna go. Hopefully, we'll get some good news. Because I... <laughs> ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. But anyway, with that being said, if you guys made it to the end of this video. And if you enjoyed this video. And if you agree with what I'm saying, hit the like button and leave a comment below how you guys are feeling about these movies getting constantly pushed back. Please, I want to hear your thoughts. Please don't be shy. You know what I'm saying? It's not a right or wrong thing, but you know what I'm saying? Just expressing yourself. And like I say, hopefully I'm not alone, which I don't feel like I am. Because I've seen a lot of comments like, damn, they still, they pushing shit back. 
So y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel. If there's anything else I can react to for you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter. Hit that notification bell button so you guys know I have video up and loaded. And I'll see y'all in a minute. It's Taylor Rain. I'm out.